Hi there, my name is Laura Kellen May and welcome to another episode of Equestrian Skill Builders video. Right. I'm going to do a position review from some photos that someone has sent in. Now, I want to remind you, these are real people on real horses and they're having real problems with their riding position and they want to have some help. So they sent me their videos and their pictures so that we can help them out. If you'd like to have your position reviewed or you having struggling with something, send me an email at thistleridge at hotmail.com. I'd like to help you out. One reason why I think this is such a great thing is because you can actually see what is happening when you are on your horse. So let's take a look. Thank you so much for sending in your, your pictures. I really like this picture because it's from the side and you can really see what your position is. If you want to send in your own photo, please send it image from the side so you can see the profile that way you can see your heels if your heels are down your eyes are up those types of things first thing i noticed about this rider is that she's got a flat back really like this this is excellent excellent work and the other thing we really like about this rider is that she's got her eyes up and her head up looking where she's going so those are a couple things that we really like about this rider same rider uh, this is a really good photo because you can see that this rider right from the side. So my first thing is balance. Is this rider in balance? And what would happen if we took that horse away from underneath this rider? Would this rider stay in a balanced position? Or would she fall forward or fall backwards? Now, if I took this horse out from underneath this rider, what do you think would happen? I think she would land on her feet and go tip forward. Do you think this rider would tip forward? What can we do to help this rider? This rider has all her weight into her knees. What we'd like for her to do is relax her knees and let the weight come down and around the horse and down into her heels. Easy to say, but how are you going to get that done? Here's an easy exercise that you can do. Ride in your two-point position. Ride in your two-point position. Maybe you've heard of me say this before. If you're pinching with your knees, there should be a video up here. Don't pinch with your knees. It's right there. Click on it. That'll be the next video that you watch next. Also, when you look at this rider, you can see that her seat is over the pommel, which is the front of the saddle. Her seat is over the pommel of the saddle and all the weight is coming into her knees. What needs to happen is that her weight needs to come into her leg and heel and her seat should be over the center of the saddle. Her seat should be over the seat of the saddle. Let's take a look at where it should be. This is where her seat should be over the middle of the saddle. And to get this rider's seat over the middle of the saddle, what are we gonna have to do? So if you see here, her shoulders are gonna have to come back a little bit more and her lower leg on the horse. That'll help get her elbows back down where they need to be and a straight line elbow hand to the horse's mouth. Now, if you're ready to improve your ride and you want to experience riding and balance and being confident with your riding and you want to be that equitation superstar that I know that you can be, then here's what you do next. Book a one-on-one, -on -one, no cost, no obligation call with me. The link is in the description. Here's a general rule of thumb. When you are riding in your jumping position, your two point riding position, or even at the rising part of your rising trot, there should be a straight line, shoulder, knee, toe. And that shoulder, knee, toe line should be vertical or close to vertical. You can see this line here is in front of the vertical. What we'd like is for it to be along this green line, this vertical line. And to do that, rider has to bring her shoulders back and her seat down and closer to the seat of the this saddle. This is where the rider needs to have her seat hovering over top of the middle of the saddle. Right now she's got her seat over the front of the saddle or the pommel of the saddle. But over this size jump, get in your two point, stay in your two point, don't move. Just keep still and let the horse move up to you. This rider has a beautiful flat back, but we need to bring, she needs to bring her shoulders back and her seat closer to the saddle with her thigh and knee closed a bit more and the weight down and around into her heel. With her arms hanging relaxed at her sides, it looks like she's pinching up with her shoulders and her elbows are out slightly. And then a straight line elbow hand horse's mouth. 
And by doing these things, sitting up, keeping that straight line, shoulder, knee, toe, getting your seat over the middle of the saddle with the weight down and around, that will help this rider get her weight down and into her heel. You can see that her toes rolled out and she's gripping with the back of her legs. Keep the weight down and around and relaxed and think of using the inside part of the legs. Love that she's got her eyes up. Love that she's looking forward. No interference with the horse. So those are some tips that this rider can have and go and work with. So what are some exercises that this rider can do? Two point, two point, two point, two point, two point. Don't be afraid to ride in your two point position and balance in your two point. It's not enough just to jam your heels down and ride around willy nilly in two point. Have a focus with your, with your riding. Two point at the walk. You would not believe one, how difficult that is and two, how much it can help you because you have to balance. You have to balance at the walk. Do transitions in your two point or jumping position. Stand in your stirrups, get in your two point position, go from a walk to a trot without letting your seat fall into the saddle. You want to make it more difficult? Tie your reins in a knot, cross your arm, put your arms, uh, your hands on your thighs and stay in your two point while you're doing that transition. Or you can drop the, tie your reins in a knot and put your hands as if you were holding the reins, but not holding the reins. You want to get adventurous, put your hands out at the sides as if you're like an airplane. These are exercises that you can do if you're on a calm horse that doesn't mind that sort of thing, but don't do it if your horse is going to freak out with it. Next step would be two point over trot rails. Those are my exercises for you. If you want some more, if you'd like to have your own specific program designed just for you, let's do a one-on-one -on -one call. I'd really appreciate it. Go in the description below. Love to hear from you. Thanks now. Bye.